Hello everyone, and today we are back for another top 5 video, and we're going to be talking about the top 5 worst Lumians added in the Atlantean City Part 2 update. We made the top 5 best Lumians, and now we will talk about the top 5 worst Lumians. And this list was extremely hard to make because a lot of the Lumians in this update were good. So with that out of the way, let's head right onto this list. Number 5 onto this list is going to be... Moreel. And I know what y'all are thinking. Why is Moreel on this top 5? It's a very good Lumian that's really bulky. And honestly, numbers 5 through 3 were honestly really good Lumians. And Moreel is an awesome Lumian. It just shows how good all the Lumians in this update are. It's a really bulky Lumian that hits really hard on the range side. It also has amazing coverage and can be a very good Bane of Haste Lumian. There are a couple things which hold Moreel back though. Electric Dark is a very questionable defensive typing. It isn't bad, but it does give you a lot of weaknesses. And when you combine that with its very low speed stat, it does make it struggle. Of course, you could just run the Jolt Moreel, which pretty much mitigates that problem. But Jolt doesn't do as much damage as Thunderstrike. So it is kind of a sacrifice to run Jolt over Thunderstrike. Despite that though, Moreel is really good. It's probably the best Taze Lumion in all of Lumion Legacy, and it's probably one of the best Bane of Haste Lumions in all of Lumion Legacy as well. Like, like I said, this is still an amazing Lumion. With this spot, I just need it. If I were to pick a Lumion in the 5 spot, I think Moreel would be the option. So yeah, unfortunately, Moreel is number 5 on this list. Number 4 onto this list is going to be... Arcelos. And a lot of people don't like Arcelos, and I could see why they don't. It's just another fire type that doesn't really hit that hard. Not to mention, it doesn't have any coverage. But, I have some counter arguments with Arcelos. It's a fire type that can hit hard and has good melee bulk. Let that sink in. There are no other fire types in the game that hit hard, is decently fast, and has good melee bulk. No other fire type. The closest thing to that is Crackalola. And even then, Crackalola is extremely slow and doesn't hit as hard as Arcelos. Not to mention, with Burning Rage, you hit super hard with Flaming Kick. And with Bulk Up and Slumber to heal your health back, that makes Arcelos a very decent fire type. It's not the best fire type in the world, and it definitely has its flaws, especially on the range side. has no range defense whatsoever, and there are other fire types that do outperform it, like Pyrolin, Infernix, and of course Vokaloa if you want to use a melee fire type. Despite that though, Arcelos is very good, and has shown to do really well in the battles I used it in. It isn't amazing, but it's still an okay Lumion, and that's why it's only number 4 on this list. Number three onto this list is going to be another overhated Lumion, and that's Shrimp Paste. A lot of people might be shocked that this isn't number two or number one, but again, I have my reasonings. This has 130 melee attack. That hits extremely hard, and with the combative ability, this thing can be very scary, especially against Tyrexes and Seer Knights, which, guess what? You hit them both super effectively. And then after an Accelerate, you can nuke the teams really easily. Yes, does that make Shrimp Paste a very situational Lumion? Yes. And I think another reason why this Lumion is considered bad by a lot of people is because they used the Clutch Rageful Plushie set. The problem is, is that the Clutch Rageful Plushie set is very predictable. And even if you want to use that set, Pronsu does it better. I think the Combative set is a way better set for Shrimp Paste because it can threaten that Tyrex and Seer Knight swap ins with Terrifying. You can even use this against Baffle Lumians and click Accelerate. This Lumion is honestly very decent. It isn't great. Heck, it's not even really good. There are a lot of other water types which are better than this. But it has proven to be very dangerous in certain situations. And while it doesn't hit the hardest, I mean, it only has Hydra Slash, which is its best stat move. I think if this thing got Wave Record, this would be a little bit better in the future. But as of now, it's a decent water type Lumion. That just cracks the top three on this list. Number two onto this list. And it's going to be Weaselin. Now we're getting into the kind of bad Lumians. And Weaselin is not that good. Traitor is broken. 
So, yeah. You can't even use its secret ability. So I use Rush Hour. And Rush Hour is a good ability. It's very good for anti-leads. It can also place barbs. It can baffle. It can tribute. It's a very good support Lumion, and its support role, unlike other support Lumions like Wiki Wiki, actually has a worth on your team. The biggest problem is, is that Weaselin, it doesn't hit hard, and it's not really bulky. It's not even that fast without the Rush Hour ability, so it's just not that good to use regardless. And if you don't have this thing for anti-leads, if there's no barb setters, this thing could be rather useless. And of course... In the showcase video I had with Weaselin, I found zero barb setters. So it didn't do anything in the video, which really sucks. It's still a decent Lumion. It's a good barb setter. It's a good slapdown Lumion. Heck, it even has priority if you want to use it. So it has stuff, but it cannot use any of it really well. The only thing it really has is a fast provoke user for barb leads. That's really it. That's why it's number two on this list. The worst Lumion added in the Atlantean City Part 2 update is Hydralin. Not even close. This is by far the worst Lumion in the update. And not only may this be the worst Lumion in the update, this is a bottom three Lumion in the entire game. There is only one thing that Hydralin has. 107 speed. This thing is pretty fast. But even when you use it against other Lumions which are similar, which are Crabtana and Nevermare, both of them are better than it in every single way. Yes, Krabtana is slower, but you can also use a Drudge to outspeed everything. And it hits harder than Hydroid. Nevermare is a roamer that's faster and also has a better defensive typing. As for Hydroid, it's awful. It can't hit hard. It has no bulk. It's by far the worst Vary in the game. Its design is even questionable. I do like his design. I know a lot of people hate Hydroid's design, but I actually kind of like his design. But that's kind of all I can really give it. I mean, it doesn't even 3-hit KO a Sir Kame. Sir Kame with a super effective Thistle Slash. It 3-shots a Joel 2. It can barely Oko a freaking Embit. An Embit. It can barely Oko an Embit. There's no contest. This is by far the worst Lumion added in the Atlantean City Part 2 update. The other Lumions on the list were at least okay, but this one is awful. And here it is, Hydralin. By far, the worst Lumion added in the Atlantean City Part 2 update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about the worst Lumions added in this update. If there are some Lumions that, that I missed, or if there are some Lumions on the list that you don't agree with, please tell me in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!